Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. This is Pravin Dore from Dice University and today it's going to be a real, real interesting video guys. It's going to be regarding Netflix advertising using native ads guys <laughs> the title is so interesting i can't even say the word so we're gonna take a look at what netflix has done in the terms of native ads it's gonna be really interesting guys but before we get into this video please please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel the like button for this video only if you like this video at the end of the video guys not now as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and so that we can keep creating good content for you all the time i'll be seeing you inside today's video guys let's go this video is brought to you by landerize.com create highly optimized landing pages in minutes get your 14 day free trial in the description below this video Welcome to today's video everybody and in today's video we are going to talk about something which is really really interesting. We are talking about Netflix native advertising. Why are we are talking about Netflix? Because Netflix is one of the most famous big brands, you know, everybody knows Netflix, right? So Netflix is one of the most famous big brands who actually did a lot of stuff within their native ads and they like to go big with these native ads and they go really really flashy with their native ads no so netflix begin this journey with native ads and we're going to explain to you that how even a big brand like netflix can actually do all this kind of native ads so what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at how the native ads journey for Netflix begin. What is the type of native ads that they have actually run and what is the take that we can actually take from the native ads that they have already run. guys? So let's begin guys. So the journey for Netflix actually started in the year uh, 2014 May guys. So what the first ad that they actually did was with New York Times. So they did this ad called TV Got Better. So this is their ad, guys. So basically, usually Netflix does this like to promote their shows and everything, but this is the first time they're actually doing uh, native ads. So what they did was they just do this ad, this particular ad, and they just said, TV got better. So uh, this is like, a, um, uh, this is not how the ad will actually look like, you know, it's like an interactive piece of media, which actually the readers can actually go ahead, scroll through the texts, the images and all that guys. So it's, it will be really, really nice guys. But this is the one that they actually started with. They actually did this with uh, New York Times. They begin their journey. And the next thing they actually did is they did this in the June 2014, where they ran the first native ads for their show which is the, this is the native ads that they actually run it's called woman inmates why the male model doesn't work so this is the native ads that they run indirectly what they did in this native ads is that they actually go ahead and promote their original series which is orange is the new black guy so the thing about this particular ad which is interesting is that this ad never tells the reader to actually go ahead and watch this show which is orange the black they uh, orange is the new black but they actually uh, dive deep into the topic of women inside prisons and all this kind of stuff. And these native ads was among the first native ads from the Times Magazine department, guys. So it's really, really interesting native ads. And what you can actually go ahead and learn from this native ad is that you can actually see that Netflix doesn't just go ahead and promote their show, but Netflix is not there only to entertain their users and promote their show, but they are there also to educate them. And this uh, this article actually teaches you on uh, how a woman's life would be in prison and all this kind of stuff, you know. So they actually teach... Uh, they actually showed us that you're not there only to get conversion, but you're there to educate your users. And if you can actually educate your users, you will definitely get more conversion. So that's that's the second ad that they actually ran. Uh, the famous ones, I'm talking about the famous one. So in the March 2015, they actually worked with Atlantic, the Atlantic magazines, and they actually came up with an ad called the 
ascent so this is how the ad will look like as the ascent so this ad is actually to promote their show which is the house of card which is a netflix original series as well they actually wanted to promote the third season if i'm not mistaken of this particular show guys this particular ad was illustrated in a very nice way where there's like a two couples but if you actually see these two couples right you can actually see this one over here this image is that like the two couples are actually one person it's actually a very nice illustration and this advertisement actually teaches you something which is really really great it teaches you that if the image can actually speak for itself there is no needs for articles or even text you know this image is actually speaking for itself so this is what netflix actually taught us from this particular ad guys and the most interesting thing about this particular ad is also that if you take a look at this ad right it will it it it, it actually inspired the upcoming native ads that we are actually doing right now as an affiliate marketers if you look at the uh, ad that i will actually do with uh when i'm doing a native ads right i will not put words i will not put text in that image at all so this can be like you can actually say that this is one of the earliest ads which actually inspired that particular ads that we are actually using another sample of a similar ad which is this one over here this is actually uh spotify and uh netflix to came together and did this particular landing page this is actually a native ad as well and this is actually to show regarding the show stranger things is a very famous show right so uh, in this particular in this particular landing page right what they will actually say is that they will they will compare the characters of this in the stranger things netflix and then they will say that what you have most common with this particular characters guys and this is actually a, a very very clever way of doing a native advertising which matches the listening habits of the fans guys so you see when they actually look at the character they ask these questions and all this kind of stuff they literally talk to the they actually engage with their customers they actually engage with their fans customers and all this kind of stuff so this is really really great so how it works is like you can actually go ahead and log in into your spotify account and then when you are matched with a stranger thing character within that particular episode and then you can actually listen to their playlist you know and then it, 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 it's like crazy you know the screen even flashes and moves like the whole thing is upside down i try to find all these particular I want to show you guys how interactive it is, but unfortunately, I couldn't find for all this kind of stuff, guys. But I did found a nice interactive landing page, which is still live with Netflix, which I'm going to show you guys, guys. So this is the last one that we are actually going to take a look at. So this is a Netflix ad where they actually work with the Wall Street Journal, guys. So if you take a look at this, this is their ad. So this ad is actually called the Cocainomonics, economics, right? Economics. They add the word cocaine in front. So how do you pronounce this? Cocaine no mix cocaine no no mix cocaine no no mix guys so that's that's the word guys so this ad is actually created by netflix and uh wall street journal so what they actually do is that they actually uh they actually make a uh, very interactive maps videos and all this kind of stuff explaining cocaine uh how actually cocaine traffickers uh is showed in that particular netflix series definitely this is regarding uh paula escobar right so they're going to show regarding the the mandolin uh the gang you know the if i'm not forget i forgot the the gang's name and then uh it's about paulo escobar and how he actually did so they had this show called narcos um which they actually show narcos which they actually show in netflix so they wanted to promote this as well and in this particular thing there's even a quiz at the end to actually test your knowledge regarding the netflix case so this is something that we can actually go ahead and look at so this is actually the landing page i'm going to refresh the landing page i'm going to show you how interactive it is so you can actually see how it looks right so this is how interactive it is so you can actually click to interact you know you can actually click you can change the cocaine and all this kind of stuff which is really really cool so netflix is really really nice and they when they do this kind of stuff right so you, you can actually scroll down 
you can see it work, works with Wall Street Journal. So they actually uh, talk about how cocaine become a multi-million dollar business and all this kind of stuff. Pablo Escobar. So this is the image, the picture that I showed you just now. And then this was show. There's a video here as well and all this kind of stuff. So when you scroll down further, there's like a, the ever-changing logistic of drug smuggling and all this kind of stuff. There's even maps here, which is an interactive map. How, uh, from where Paula Escobar actually smuggled the drugs to in what year, which is really, really cool, right? So when you scroll down, there's more videos. You can see how interactive they actually did. Uh, Paula Escobar's wanted or dead alive picture. Um, this is how the landing page looks like. Even though it's very long, it's really, really informative landing page. And uh, finally, like I told you, there was actually a quiz that you can actually go ahead and start answering. So if you hit on the quiz, right, just going to hit on the quiz. So it will bring you to a quiz section where you can actually go ahead and test your knowledge on uh, cocaineomics, guys. So it's really, really nice, really, really interesting, guys. What you can actually take from this particular ad is that the big difference between uh, a real crude, straightforward ad and ones that delivers much more interactive perspective towards the landing page and an interactive perspective towards their storytelling dimension you look how they actually told the story within different different stuff and all these kind of guys so so it's really really interesting you know because because like a lot of companies actually go ahead and do uh native ads guys like airbnb prudential gatorade snapchat and all these kind of guys they actually do uh native ads guys but i think that the netflix native the way the netflix actually go ahead and bring the news to the audience is really really awesome guys and uh netflix advertising is more to dedicate people uh, to learn more about that particular show they're like they're like i told you earlier itself they are not only talking about conversion they are talking about educating and that's that's one of the clear part that you can actually get from netflix which a lot of people actually using so, until now when they do a webinar they give something for free and all this because they want to upsell you first thing they want to teach you and then they, later on they will actually upsell you with stuff so these are the basic stuffs which is uh which netflix did when it comes to native ads and it's really really interesting and i really really loved it personally guys so uh that's about it from me guys i really hope that you enjoyed today's video it was really interesting video guys i really hope that you enjoyed today's video so i'll be seeing you in the next one but before i go i just want to let you guys know if you want to join the dice university forum a community where affiliate marketers come from all over the world to help each other to support each other to strive together the link is actually in the description of this video and also please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel the like button for this video only if you liked this video video as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of upcoming videos and so that we can keep creating good content for you all the time i'll be seeing you in the next one till then tata bye bye